Hi everyone. In today's episode, I'd like to talk about some ways to customize the ACPAC Finder. In most screens in ACPAC where you're looking at static data, so customers, GL accounts, vendors, inventory items, um, you're going to see a finder here, an icon, a magnifying glass. Uh, what most of you should know already is that clicking on this will launch the finder and allow you to search. You may not know uh, that the F5 key will allow you to launch that finder. Once the finder is open, there are, of course, you can scroll through and select the item you're looking for. Um, you can also change the find by to search for an item however you'd like to look for it by. So in this case, I may want to search by description. So an item contains the word pencil in the description, and I get a subset of my list here very quickly. Now, if the information you'd like to search for does not currently exist in this list, you may not know, but you can go to the settings menu here and choose columns, and there are lots and lots of different options on the left here in the unselected column which you can move over to the right and include as one of the columns in my finder. So if I want to see you know the unit weight of the item or uh, if I'm looking at inactive items uh, I'd like to see when the date was made inactive um, I can search through and look at serial number, masks, uh, lot information, um, unformatted serial numbers, you know, you can scroll through and, and see who the manufacturer might be and add all of this information to my list. I'm allowed 50 columns in each of the ACPAC finders and then I can use the up and down arrows here to move columns around as I'd like. So if I want manufacturer somewhere in the middle and default picking sequence, I want to move all the way down to the end, I can do that. Once I click OK, those columns I added now are going to show up in my list here. If I clear that out, I see my manufacturer's column here, I see my default picking sequence column here. So that may help if you're looking for an item a certain way or a customer or vendor, as I said, anywhere there's a finder and you don't see the information you need, you can go to settings, columns, and turn that on. You can also, as you can see in my finder here, add some color to your finders to make a certain column columns stick out some more. So I've, I've gone in and said, okay, the background color for um, item number, I may want it to be yellow, uh, or you may change uh, font color as well to make it really pop out so you know what you're looking at. And lastly, with the settings menu here, uh, if you're working with Crystal Reports and, and doing a custom report or modifying one of the forms that comes with ACPEC in Crystal Reports, it may be helpful to know exactly what the name of the field is that you're looking for. So I can come to my finder and turn on this field name as column heading setting here and you can see that the descriptions at the top of the columns have changed to be the actual field name in ACPAC. So um, the formatted item number here is FMT item no formatted item number. So that will help me find that in my Crystal report. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back off for now. So, uh, in addition to the settings menus, I can click on the key menu here and I can change the way my item list, my finder is sorting my items and how it is indexed. So instead of item number, I may decide to index it by item description. And you're going to see they're no longer in item number order now. They're now sorted and filtered by description. What that will help you with is if you're always searching by description and you have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of items, to sort them and index them by description will help you and make it faster to search by that particular field. In a lot of cases though, it's perfectly fine to leave it uh, the way it is, leave the key alone and just choose what you need to search by and it shouldn't take all that long to return your results. If you have rights to do so, if, if your ACPAC administrator has given you the rights to do so, under the file menu, you should be able to export your results from your finder to an Excel or CSV file or ODBC or, or XML file. 
So it's a kind of a quick way to get a, a quick and dirty report is do a search in the finder and do a file export to, to get that information out. Now, I can also set some criteria in my finders. So if I click on the set criteria button, I may decide that I only ever really care about active items when I'm doing my searches. So if I choose status here from the dropdown and click add, it's going to add it to my first column here. I can double click in the cell just below that and say I only want to see um, active items. So if I go ahead and save that and click OK, uh, it happened quickly and you probably didn't see it refresh, but I only see active items now in my finder list. So when I'm searching, none of the inactive ones will ever show up. So this is kind of a, a neat way to make some compound searches. So in order to just get rid of that, I can come in here and say clear. Do I want to clear a certain cell or row or just all and, and get rid of it? If I go ahead and save that, all the inactive items would come back. Next, uh, let's talk about the global settings menu. Um, what does go to filter first mean? Well, let me show you. When I launch my finder or hit F5 to launch my finder, I see that my cursor here is highlighting the first row of my results. Well, what I have to do then is click up in the filter here and start typing. And so it's just an extra click when I type. If I turn on go to filter first and then launch my finder, my cursor, as you can see, is right in the filter box and allows me to just type and pull up those quickly. So it just saves a, a click. And if you're launching the finder and searching for things a lot, saving clicks here and there can really add up at the end of a week, end of a year. And lastly, um, once I get the finder settings the way I like and all the columns where I want, I can move columns around, I can just drag them, I can say I want to right click and, and completely hide the status column or just completely close it up here if I don't really care to see it because I've set criteria maybe that you know I only am looking at active ones so there's no need to take up real estate in my finder on that one and uh, just move things the way you like them. You can always bring them back. Uh, lastly, um, remember that you are changing when you change a finder, you're only changing the finder for yourself. So if you're logged into ACPEC as your own user, you're only changing your finder settings, not anybody else's. So you can make them look exactly the way you'd like, and you can do and make these settings changes in all of the different finders in ACPEC, and they can all be different if that's helpful and uh, if you need to do that. So. Um, Hopefully that helped you, and hopefully that will help you find some information in ACPEC a lot quicker. Um, my name is Nick Nabosny, and my company is Acumen Information Systems. I can be reached at nick at acumenfl.com or 407-965-2411.